It's a true test to all of us. It is extremely frustrating. It tests your resolves, but I do believe the guys in, the, in that locker room in terms of the character that we have. But it does test you, no question about it. But you've got to look internally and see what you control. What are the things that you can do better? What are the things that I can do better? That's the message to the team. Back on three, one, two, three. Back. We just got to continue to just keep harping on it. That's the only way we'll get better. Like myself and everybody else in this building knows that we have the pieces to the puzzle. And I got confidence in our group. I think it's just going to make us a better team at the end. Young teams have to learn how to win as well. Um, and every, every team that I've been on, we've had to learn how to win. So um, this is our learning lesson, and I think we'll get over that hump. So while this year's squad fights through this rough patch to get things on track, perhaps it can draw some parallels to the 2022 version of the Packers. Green Bay started last year's campaign 4-8, and eight, a stretch loaded with adversity. But they recalibrated and found their mojo late in the season. Dylan around the left oh, side, yeah. fighting to the goal line, touchdown! They rattled off four straight, getting to the brink of the postseason. Ball's yeah. out, fumbles the football, and the Packers have it. Now we see if this year's Packers can handle adversity in a similar fashion. The thing that gives me a lot of hope is just knowing the response that I see from our team. These guys aren't afraid of a challenge, and right now we have a challenge. Going through some adversity, as long as you come out the other side of it, can be a positive thing if channeled and harnessed the right way. That's the expectation I have for our football team.